Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another player review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD, where we will be taking a look at the 91 rated team of the season so far, Kovacic. An absolutely incredible player who I've played in the heart of my midfield and I'm sure you guys will be interested in playing him there too. Before we look at his attribute details and hear about my thoughts on this player, if you enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button and the subscribe, of course, if you are new to the channel for more great FIFA 20 content. And if you have any questions at all, ask away in the comments as I love answering what you guys have to say. So, we've seen the position that we played him in, now we're going to have a look at his attribute details. And as you can see, he's a very, very well-rounded player. The pace is exceptional. People love pace in Ultimate Team and Kovacic delivers. Great pace overall with incredible acceleration, which is always good. His shooting column is pretty decent. It's not terrible. And with the right upgrades as I have, you can really make that very, very OP in my opinion, especially with his incredible pace. His attack positioning at 80 overall can definitely be improved along with his finishing, which isn't shabby, but it's not amazing either at 70. But where he does excel with his shooting is his shot power and his long shots and his volleys. All very, very good. Passing wise, he is superb. He doesn't have the best free kicks, but the fact that he does have that really good cross in vision and also the short and long range passing being absolutely incredible at 98 and 91 is really, really good on the card. Dribbling wise, very solid as well. All high stats there. Agility and balance really stand out. Ball control and dribbling and composure also really, really good. Defensively, he's really solid in this area too. And this is where he's going to really excel for most people is with that incredible inceptions, his defensive awareness being so high, and then stand tackle and slide tackle being really OP. He's also quite good physicality. Uh, he's quite good in the air, even though his heading accuracy doesn't suggest that. But I found him to be quite good in the air. He does rise well. Stamina is good there at 93, which is brilliant on a fast player. Strength is okay at 70. Could be a little bit better, but it's still usable and he still is quite robust on the ball and very good aggression, which I absolutely love at 92. So now that we've seen those attribute details, let's jump into some in-game footage and hear what I thought about him. So my thoughts on Kovacic and his 91 rated team of the season so far card were that he was absolutely brilliant. I really, really did love him. I thought he was very, very solid overall. A really great player to use in this game. I wouldn't use him at CAM, I wouldn't even use him at CDM unless maybe you were playing with two because I do find he tends to drift a little bit in game. He is more of a, a wider player in the middle of a three potentially where he really is going to excel, where he can do a bit of everything, he can get forward on occasion but he can do also that defensive side of things and when he can get on the ball in the heart of the midfield you know, and really make things happen is where you will really come to love this guy because he can get forward, he can score goals as he did for me. You'll see he scored some great finishes where he absolutely rifled it into the corner, where he finessed it around the keeper. He had a bit of everything to his game and obviously I did upgrade that with the Gladiator chemistry style which did help. But overall he is a solid player that will score you goals, will use his pace well and his decent attack positioning to get himself into the area. And if you do get the opportunity to shoot, obviously just hammer the shoot button because his shot power and long shots are so superb. Passing wise, the guy will lay it on a plate for absolutely anyone. He's got fantastic vision, his crossing, his passing, both short and long range is so, so good. So he definitely can be involved in a lot of attacks, get the build up play going, but also play that final killer ball, which is gonna be really, really important for the team. He can also carry it well too. He's got the pace obviously, but he also has great agility and balance. His ball control and dribbling are so, so good too. Defensively is obviously one of the areas where this guy stands out. He'll make a ton of tackles. He is a terrier with that pace and the aggression that he has, always nibbling at your opponent's feet, trying to get the ball back and causing himself to be an absolute nuisance for your opponent which is why you'll come to love him he is a real stamina machine as well very much of that Kante mold where he just keeps on going he doesn't quite have the most amount of strength you can get knocked off the ball from time to time but overall he has so much going for him and with the right chemistry style on him you can really make this guy an absolutely superb player I think for me he is best in as a central midfielder in a midfield three, I would say it's going to be his best area and the best sort of formation for him. But you definitely can use him at CDM too and he will do you a fair job there. And I just think he's great value and a real worthwhile player to pick up in this game. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace.